Hi guys, gracias por regresar a mi canal and thank you for watching. Today I have a lot to do. In this video, I will be folding Ariel's laundry, picking up our room, and cooking a crock pot meal. It's fall, so it's time to bring out the crock pot. Stay tuned for some cleaning motivation. Young black and raspy, catch me with a lab beyond. Think I make the slap that make her body do magic. Won't stop till my bank account magnets. Looking like I'm still running paper routes backwards. Money bags, no advance, snap back like a rubber band. Pretty thing with a suntan, make it bounce back when she do the dance. Call my song, we supposed to pick. See your things through a different lens. Live it fast, only one I love to start my day by making my bed. There is honestly nothing better than walking into a room that has a made bed. It just looks really clean, and honestly, I just think it just really pulls the room together. We bought a sleep number bed when I was pregnant, so I kind of feel like it was an impulse buy. So at the beginning of the video, you do see me putting the bed down because it does have an adjustable base. Honestly, when I was pregnant, it was so hard to get a good night's nice rest. So that's why I feel like it was an impulse buy because I was emotional, my back hurt, and I just needed a new mattress. And we've been looking at it for a while, and we finally just decided to go for it. I honestly think it was a really good decision at the end of the day. And we didn't get the sheets that come with the, not come with the bed, but you have to buy it because we had our own sheets and we felt like we'd be fine. They were deep pocket sheets. But I do feel like I sometimes struggle with them because when we put up the bed, they kind of shift and in turn I just have to pull them to get them back together. Talk like they ball hard when all they really do is reach in. Limit time, hear a small talk, speaking dreams to existence. Like a young so, the next thing I'm doing is I'm just taking Ariel's clothes down from drying. I don't put them in the dryer, I only wash them, but I think that honestly helps a lot with shrinkage because right now she is eight months old, but she can still wear three months old onesies. The pants are actually a little too short on her, but she just cracked into her six to nine month clothes, and those are sometimes bad on her and the six months are actually perfect on her so I honestly think that just washing them and not drying them definitely helps and I will add that although I don't dry her clothes in the dryer I do dry her socks bibs and blankets in the dryer because that would just be way too much to just hang that in. I don't care if that shrinks you know that stuff that whatever but when it comes to her clothes I just know that the longer she can fit in them then the better because I'm not replacing things every week or every month even for that matter I could really use a change of scenery yeah. And if you notice, it honestly like I'm folding all of her clothes But that's because I put them in her dresser I have onesies and pants in her dresser And sweaters or dresses, I do hang those up But I just think it's easier to have everything in drawers Organized by size And it just makes it easier to choose the outfit when you're on the go or when her dad is the one that's dressing her. Everything is just easier. He doesn't have to worry about color coordinating anything because for the most part, they're all the same size together in one section. And he knows that that's the section that we pull from. Christmas pajamas. They're from Pottery Barn Kids. I got matching pajamas for Christmas for me, Travis, and Ariel, and they're honestly so cute. And guys, this little sweater dress thing, I forgot to take the little plastic, like, I don't know, what are they called? Like, 
ties or something that keeps the little underwear part and the dress together and I washed it like that so that's what you just see me do is just pull it apart because I looked under there and I was like oh yeah forgot about that I just think they put too many of those plastic things, plastic things on honestly from the inside out it's time to say it which is just now and I know it's kind of wild that I'm buttoning everything back up just to unbutton it and put it on her but honestly it's just a pet peeve of mine I like her drawers and even my drawers to look really organized and really nice so I honestly don't mind folding everything super nice and buttoning everything back up and then having to unbutton everything when I put it on her it honestly just takes a few seconds and I mean I honestly could have wasted time doing something ridiculous so I'd rather just use that time and organize her stuff and make it look nice. So right now I'm just folding all her pants and putting everything together by size. Everybody's going somewhere. Young old, I really don't care. Life has never really been fair. Okay, so here are her clothes. I usually put them in order by size so it's easier to put away. These are the three to six. This is the six months. The this is just gonna go away in storage because it doesn't fit her anymore. These are the nine months, these are the 12 months, and these are just pajamas that I put in her bottom drawer. And then her pants, and then this dress I put on a hanger because she can still use it. And then these are just um stuff that I don't have hangers for, so I'm gonna have to order more. But this is like 12 months so she's not gonna wear it anytime soon because even though she's eight months old she can still fit three to six months and the uh, three months she's just now breaking into six to twelve and six to nine which is actually still really big on her so that's it and guys oh my god this corner do not judge me so this is the thing when i do laundry i sometimes forget the clothes in the dryer so then what Travis does because he wants to be helpful is that he takes all the clothes and he throws them on the bed but then when I can't get to it and it's late and he wants to go to bed he takes everything and he throws it in this corner so this time what he did was he just literally put as you can see all my clothes in the sheet and then he threw it on the floor and I was so mad because that literally sat there all week like I go to work and I come home and I don't have time to be folding clothes so it literally sat there all week and by the time I got to it my I mean granted it was just pajamas and maybe a couple t-shirts but they were so wrinkled that I considered washing them again but I'm like that's ridiculous and a waste of water and electricity but my pajamas have never been so wrinkled. I was so upset. So here I am going through everything and just kind of making the best out of it. And honestly, I feel as though when I do leave the clothes in the dryer, even if it's for like a couple of days they're not as wrinkled as they were with Travis putting them in the sheet and essentially tossing it on the floor but that's why I like just when the dryer is done obviously if I have time just taking the clothes directly out of the dryer and like folding it as I like take them out not putting everything on the bed and then folding it because I just think that seeing that big pile on the bed I really get discouraged and I'm just like oh my gosh and it actually does feel like a chore versus when I do it right out of the dryer it's just like one piece at a time and I don't feel as overwhelmed so that's my strategy and that's why I like doing laundry because it doesn't feel like a chore but like I said when I throw it on the bed or when Travis throws it on the bed look at his pants so wrinkled anyways when he throws it on the bed I just feel overwhelmed and I'm just like oh my gosh I have to get this done and it feels like a chore so that's why that is not for me
want to add that Travis does try to fold my clothes sometimes but he knows that I fold them a specific way and he just doesn't know you know how I fold my shirts how I fold my pants and stuff like that but he'll try but he knows I'm just gonna go back and refold it which is why I think a majority of the time so just like group everything together like group my socks together my underwear together my shirts and my bottoms together and then just lets me get to it but I just feel as though like I said when there's a pile I'm like oh my gosh I have to go through all this stuff and honestly it just takes me I just feel longer to do it that way can tell but I do fold my stuff the KonMari way and I don't know I mean for the most part I like it because it makes things small but the drawers I have now they don't come out all the way so I feel like the stuff in the back I can't really see so I don't know I think I'm gonna probably look for a different way to fold most of my things like my shirts and my pants I think the socks and underwear is good but just the shirts or maybe I just have too many I just have to get rid of them I don't know but I know I'm gonna be going through my clothes soon because we're moving so I will show you guys the millions of items I have and then probably get rid of some and just fold them a different way so they can just fit better so here's the infamous fitted sheet that everybody hates to fold this particular one is from Brooklinen and as you can see I like how it says long side and short side so when you put it on the bed you don't have to worry about oh gosh let me take it off because I put it on the wrong way so for my fitted sheets I try to kind of fold in the awkward length um, that it has and make it kind of into a rectangle and just kind of fold it the best I can this sheet actually folds really well but the next sheet is gonna be a hot mess so whatever I mean at least I'm not balling it up the way some people do right Watch the struggle bus with this red fitted sheet. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know, but it just was not working for me. So I just made it work as good as I could. And whatever, I mean, it's gonna go with all the other sheets. Nobody's gonna see it, but it was a struggle. I don't know why. guys so now to cook dinner I'm going to be making a chicken tortellini alfredo crock pot meal it literally just calls for everything that I just mentioned I also put in a little bit of garlic so I washed the chicken I soaked it in vinegar for a couple of minutes and now I'm just putting it in and I like to do strips just because they're easier to clean versus the breast it calls for three frozen breasts I don't 
ever ever cook my meat frozen I just think it's weird I wasn't raised that way so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just putting the tenders in there and seasoning everything and it doesn't call for anything but I think maybe just the garlic but I like to put extra seasoning in it because that's what my family likes they like a good amount of seasoning so I put salt pepper and garlic powder and some adobo of course so I bought prego this time I usually do bertoli but this was the only thing the grocery store had I feel like honestly there's been a shortage of alfredo sauce since COVID I don't know why one goes with the other but that's what I've just noticed so prego was the only thing they had so I decided to get that one I got the roasted garlic flavor because I just felt like it'll taste better than a bland one so I'm just putting everything in there you put one full jar 16 ounce jar of the sauce in and then once you are almost done and you put in the tortellini and you put the second half which is what you're gonna see me do so right now I'm just shredding the chicken with the fork and with the spoon. I mean, I could use two forks, but I was just using this spoon to mix everything and I just decided to use it. The chicken by this point should be breaking apart really easy. I do cook it on high for, I believe it's six hours just to make sure that everything cooks really well and really fast, but honestly it's done by five. Five hours is more than enough. So it's been five hours and honestly the chicken is like falling apart. And I'm really sorry I didn't notice that the video was out of focus but it'll be refocusing in just a moment. So right now I'm just putting in the garlic that I chopped up. And as you can tell everything is simmering back up. And then I just put the second half of that second jar of Alfredo. And you just want to mix everything in. And then the meal is almost done. You just have to put the tortellini in and leave it in for 15 minutes. So I did the tortellini frozen. I usually just leave it in the fridge and then throw it in. But I feel like the tortellini has been too soft every time I did that. So I was like, oh, let me try it frozen. And I felt as though they were still a little too hard. So maybe do an extra 25 minutes. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.